previously on Beer and Board Games. We played Dungeon Quest. He died by falling off of a plank. Very dishonorable death. This fool was a little too loud in the dragon's chamber and he got scorched by dragon fire. He didn't make it out in time. He was stuck in the catacombs. There was a vampire biting him in the ass. There was a, a <laughs> wild spider. boar. I think spiders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I made it out of the dungeon. I won the game. Represent. Represent what? My oh. victory. Oh yeah, right. All right, just for that, you get the black token. <laughs> Do you wonder about secrets? Do you wonder if there's things that you don't know enough about and you want to know more about them? Mysterium. Okay. You know how some people are ghost hunters? I know somebody who's a beer hunter. Few Horbe. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Tonight we're drinking Flying Monkey Canadian Golden Pilsner, obtained by Few Horbe when he was in Canada. They sell it at like 14 up in Canada. Drinking age in Canada is 14. <laughs> we get him started early <laughs> here in Canada. Uh, it does not smell good. It does not smell descript. I'm nervous. I don't taste too good either. <laughs> oh my god, it's like overly tart. It's retarded. <laughs> There's just a Marketing. jumble of flavors happening here. I, I don't it's think Canada. It's I gold. Think it's good. This could definitely cause one of us to have a vomit event. An extinction level vomit event? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a toast here from Jane Tim Baxter. Jane would like us to give the person on our right a sincere compliment and toast ourselves for being awesome and helping Jane get through her recovery. Jane has had some health problems lately and uh, our heart goes out to her. The person on our right, oh, I have to compliment you. Yeah! <laughs> I really like your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and I commend you on your ability to fool her all these years. Jesse yeah. is a wonderful dungeon master and creative individual. Craig, you are one of the smartest people I know. That's, that's all I really want to hear. Why don't you guys get a room? <laughs> we got a room and I'll, I'll, I'll tell them about the smart things. <laughs> um, I have learned so much about comedy just from hanging out with you and I steal things from you on a very regular basis. People <laughs> laugh when I do things that I'm copying that Matt does. Oh, that's... Yep. Put you your fucking phone down! <laughs> It's one of my signature bits. <laughs> this game was provided by Keith Eiler. Thanks, Keith. I am the ghost. Oh, this game features a living ghost. You guys are psychics. Yes, all right, I got I'm it. A psychic. There's been a murder. No! <laughs> what? But unfortunately, I can't communicate with you guys because I'm a ghost. Just like Patrick Swayze in the movie Ghost. I can give you, Demi Moore, an image of what may have some, had something to do pot. with my death. Clay pot? Yeah. Clay pot, yes. tits. <laughs> you got your characters, your objects, your locations. I'm going to try to communicate to you what happened to me, and then the actual killer is going to be decided at the end of the game through a bunch more clues that I give you. That's a clairvoyant token. If you were right, then his clairvoyance token pays off. He goes up one on the clairvoyance track. I sense a presence in this room. Blah. All right. Blah. He's going to give me some cards. The cards are going to be weird images, and then I have to figure out which one of these five people it is based off of those cards. Can you talk as a ghost? No. <coughs> no. Like a goo. <laughs> Top hat. I think it is... I think you're right. Clairvoyance? Getting an image, are we? Well, it doesn't take clairvoyance to make the connection. No. Between Top Hat and Magician. I agree. That was it. You were That's right. It's me all over. It's not usually that easy. I swear to God, we yeah. just got lucky. So all really advance work. on the psychic track. Except for me. Here is your clue. Boo! Close line. It's this woman right here. I'm gonna back you up on that one. Oh, bugger. Oh, what did you do? I'm afraid none of you were clairvoyant enough. You gave us a bum steer, ghost. Boo! Yeah, you really are a bug. All right, give me the clue. I'm ready to use my brain power. Mm. What is that bird doing? Oh, he can ditch between one and seven of them. And when he does, he puts up the bird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these shitty cards and discard them. Right. All my life. Right. I have been waiting to discard these shitty cards. Right? 
Blackbird fly. To the right? Let me discard these shitty cards. Boo, do, do, do. Right. Stop saying right. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to keep going with my thing. I've uh, been waiting Thank you. for a clue from <laughs> you. <laughs> Get me through the night. <laughs> the ghost has it. <laughs> Two birds. Let's see. A flying bird could symbolize the male, but those cows in the distance could symbolize a cow person. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the mailman. It is not. Not. Oh, no votes of confidence from these fuckers. <laughs> I'm afraid they're right. That was not the correct person. Oh. Yeah? What are you giving me? I gave you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> the second hour. Craig, we're moving on to your location. A shack that's kind of deteriorating. I wonder if the location is the deteriorating shack. <laughs> I'm thinking it's the deteriorating shack as well. Death shack baby. This is like a little man running. He has a crystal ball. I'm gonna go with this guy. You know why, guys? He looks like him. That's why. I like your reasoning. That's why I'm doing it. Don't change it just because of this. <laughs> right. I'm also gonna do that. All right. <laughs> Correct. Ah. Ah. Rockin', rockin', rockin' all, all night tonight. Uh huh. At the government center. Make those secretaries feel better when they put the stamps on the. Make them feel better. This is a toast from Mark Visco for his girlfriend slash future wife, Jay Baggett. She's an enormous fan of all Blanche Society, especially beer and board games. Our voices and laughs are heard throughout the apartment at all hours. Ha. She's one of the best, most unique, and most booked wedding photographers in Boston. So toast that in her website, jbagsphoto.com. Hey! Uh, Jbags! 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 Jbags. Photography. Mm. Jay, baby, you can take my photo any day. I just heard something. Maybe it was the flapping of wings? No, it's a ghost, probably. Probably a fly or something. I don't think there was any... Oh, God! oh my God! Hi, Cookie. Look at you. You're all dressed up for Valentine's Day. Happy, happy Valentine's Day! Cookie, what's wrong? what's wrong? You seem scared. My damn department is haunted! What? what haunted? By a ghost! I think it's the ghost of Baby Jenkins. Baby Jenkins, your former sickly boyfriend, do you think he's died? Oh no, what? <laughs> I don't know, but the other night, I woke up in my bed, and he was standing over my bed, and he said to me, I'm with the angels now. <laughs> he might not be dead, he might be a baseball player. What the hell are you talking about? I know when there's a ghost in the house. Maybe you should hire a paranormal investigator, Cookie. Well, I think I need to have an exorcism performed. Boy, between that ghost and baby Penelope banging on the walls, I'm living in a goddamn house of horrors. <laughs> that sounds awful. It really it's too does. much for a baby. I, it's it's going to give me a weak heart. If you had any hair, it would be turning gray. You could turn this into a money-making venture. Ooh, tell me more. You can charge admission. People can Ooh. come. They can give you money, and you'd be like, hey, look at that. That wasn't there before. Must have been the ghost. I like what you're putting down. <laughs> yeah. And maybe if the ghost shows up then, then people really feel like... Oh, he always shows up. He's been moving things around in the house. He come back home and find each on the ceiling. It's crazy. Nothing what? is beyond the powers of a ghost. All right, baby. I cookie. gotta go get a priest to come to my house and get rid of the ghosts. So what are the, what's the priest gonna do? He gonna say some prayers or something. I don't know what priests do. Do I look like I've been to the seminary? I not in this outfit. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, no. I don't want to go home. All the moaning and groaning. Baby Jenkins jumping out at me. And the mold problem that you seem to perpetually have. Blood coming off the walls and mold. It's no good. Well, get some bleach or something. That'll, yeah, that should okay. Help. I'll yeah, get that... some bleach and a priest. Well, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> some bleach and a priest solves any problem. Cookie. Yeah, I'm heading off to the church. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Later. I'm scared. I'm really sorry to hear that she's having such troubles. 
That's hard. Or, Maybe she shouldn't have broken up with Baby Jenkins. That could have saved his life. She <laughs> left him and he died. Oh man, that's terrible. That's too bad. He had a very promising baseball career. It's Jesse's turn. I'm next. I'm going to the site. To oh, huh, I wish that it was Jesse's turn. Do do do. Wish that it was Jesse's do, 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 turn. Do 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 do. How can I find a turn like that? Like Jesse's turn. But you give him two cards. Oh, you get two cards, That's man. That's the cards. first time ever. Yeah, I'm not getting much here. What do you have? Well, there's an industrial wasteland with the crazy robots. <laughs> and then this is a door, like a door to a closet. Paper airplane. I just noticed the, uh, the old suit of armor there, which is that other thing. Uh, the metal thing, yeah. This ghost apologizes. That is not the correct <laughs> answer. What are you doing to me? I had no options. I crowed it already and I couldn't. Are you fucked me over, ghost. Boo. Two things made of green and I have a whole bunch of iron, so I'm going to pick the iron. I think I'm going to disagree. I, I'm going to agree. You're right. What? I was so good at this until I wasn't. Location. The noise, please. <laughs> Baloo. <laughs> All right, there's a bathtub, bubbles, water, basin. Maybe the one with the bathtub? Yep. I need to see it. You need to see it? There's yeah. a bathtub in it, man. The vibes I'm getting from this what ghost. What have I already chosen? Oh. Leave me tingly Shit. in my areas. So it can only be the clock or the pan or the barbells. Yes. The circle is, Let's see. is the clock face. I need to look. What about the wolf Jesse, face? Jesse, just put down a thing. <laughs> Come on, it's late. All right. <laughs> you have instructed me well. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he was drunk. The odds of him winning right now are pretty All good. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, just saying. I'm just going there. Clock. Clock! Yeah. Give that. Th All right, take. It's mine. You Give me some eggs. <laughs> that's where I'm what, going. What about that little kid that's dangling off the hot air balloon? What about you <laughs> dangling off something? <laughs> yeah, you dangle. <sighs> Okay, now we each have our idea of who we think the murderer, the murder weapon, and the location are. The ghost is now going to give us some final clues to help us figure out which of these groups are the real culprits. In nice. no particular order, they all apply to one stream. I have made my selection. Matt was quick with okay. the big, just to get that autograph. He had a camera, it's, a t-shirt, a pad and pen. Difficult. He says, yo, Ice Cube, can you sign this? I only did it because this bitch was the finest. She blew me a kiss and gave the boy a frown. Said, how can we get rid of this clown? Me and her sat down, he got a little jealous because his punk ass sat in the middle of us. And he asked me question after question. It felt like a motherfucking interview session. Uh, then this girl got up, I heard the door shut, and he was still there swinging from my nuts. I said, get the fuck out. I made it loud and clear, get off my dick, N-word, and tell your bitch to come here. I chose six. This group, the magician, the shack, and the yes. clock. I chose six. Top hat magician. Creepy door shack. Roundy spokes clock. Six. Oh no. First clue you gave me was the top hat because of the magician. Uh, Craig knows me. <laughs> As do we all. That was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Guys, I think we're all winners. Blue. Folks. We had a good time tonight. Dungeon Quest was so much fun. I died right away, but it Matt won. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's factual. We learned what it was like to be dead and trying to communicate with people and let them know who murdered you. And it was pretty hard, but luckily Top Hats saved the day. We enjoy communicating with you week after week. Luckily, we don't have to tell you about murders. We can only get to have fun playing games and drinking beers. And we hope you'll join us next week for another episode of Beer and Board Games. May the time never run out on our show. A good night. A ding, ding, ding. Boo! Boo! Dong!